This is a tutorial on how to use PhotoView 360, which is a SOLIDWORKS add-in that can produce photorealistic renderings of SOLIDWORKS models. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is you need to get a model. So here's my model. Nice. And then you have to go to Tools, and down to Add-ins, and then you click the box next to PhotoView 360, and this other box if you want it to start up when you open SOLIDWORKS. Okay, so now that you've activated it, there should be a tab on the top called PhotoView 360. And there should also be a tab on the ribbon called Render Tools. And if it's not there, you can right click on the ribbon and you can select Render Tools, make sure it's checked. Usually what I like to do when I'm rendering images of models is change the view to perspective. And to do that, you go up to this little tab here and you click perspective. And you see how that gives it a different kind of look to it, the perspective. Okay, so the first thing in the render tools toolbar is the edit appearance. If you click that, it'll bring up some appearances on the side. If you expand this, it has some different materials. Let's do metal. I want to do some aluminum. Um, let's do brushed aluminum. And if I want to change the appearance of this aluminum, so I don't want it to be gray, so I want it to be a darker gray, maybe close to black, you can just go into these and change the RGB values. Let's do 30, 30, 30. Nice dark gray. And we want to apply the appearance to this entire part. So we're going to click this guy and then click on the part we want to apply it to. And then we're going to click OK because it looks OK. And if you want to edit the appearance of the part, you can right click on the part, go to Appearances, and you can either click this X to get rid of it, remove the appearance, or you click on the circle to edit the appearance that you've already applied to it but we're going to leave it as is. Okay, the next thing in Render Tools is this Edit Scene. You click on that, it brings up some scenes on the right. Let's go to Basic Scenes. You can change the background, basically the scene, and we can also edit the scenes, like say we want to change this gradient to a lighter gray. Click OK, and click OK again, and it should change gradient for us. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is add some lighting. So to do that, we're going to go up to this Appearances tab, and then we're going to click on lights and camera and we're going to expand this lights folder and then we're going to first right click on a light and say show lights so we can see where they are you can see and there's one here and one here and then we can turn these right click them and turn them on in photo view 360 because that's what we're going to render in so let's do that and we can also add a spotlight or direction light let's add a spotlight and let's try to focus this light right on the middle of my part and it's kind of hard to do like this, so you want to change the focus point to something you want to focus it on. So let's grab a focus and point it right in the middle here. And then adjust the spotlight. Put it to the right a bit. And bring it up. And that should be good for lighting. And you can see you can change the ambience, brightness, and stuff like that. Click OK. And then we're going to also turn this on in PhotoView 360. Alright, so now let's hide these lights, so right click and click on the show lights again so they disappear. And the next thing in the tab is edit decal. Let's click on that and then we can browse for a decal we want to add to the part. So in my pictures I have this random logo I found. Click on that and let's go to mapping, which is how it's placed on the part. And let's go to the right and click on this part, that's where I want to add it. So you see how I clicked it and it's in line with my plane and we can resize it move it a bit, resize it some more, get it where I want it, and there we go. And so in this tab we can see that there's the current view tab which changes the plane which it's in. We can change it to the ZX plane and that's the bottom plane you can see. And change it back to the YZ plane which is the one we want. So now in the Appearances tab, we can click on this View Decals, and then we can expand this, and there's the decal we just added. If we want to hide it, we can right-click it, and we can click Hide Decal, and that'll hide it for us. And let's leave it there, though. So let's show Decal, and back. So that covers all the preparation we can do for the part, and then the rest of the things are actual renderings. So let's click Integrated Preview, which brings up, changes the window basically to the rendering preview. And you can see with this view, we can manipulate the part, we can rotate it and such. And it'll basically show us the rendered image 
from that perspective. All right, so let's click it again to exit that. And the next one is preview window, which will open up a separate window with the rendered preview. And what you've noticed with this one is when you change the perspective of the part, it'll update the rendered image. And we can click this pause button, and that, what that'll do is that'll freeze the rendered image so we can move the model without changing the rendered image. And then we can click the reset to bring them back in. All right, so let's close this window here. And then the last thing is final render. And that's the nice quality render. So let's click that and it'll open up a window and it'll open up another window. And then that will start rendering our image. So you can see there's this thing that goes around and it takes a little while. And up here is the how much time's left. And it ch kind of chunks away at the middle there. Takes a little bit of time, gotta be patient. But at the end, we've got a nice quality image. Let's go to 100% and see this is what it looks like. It looks pretty nice. So there's our image, and we can go here and save the image. And we can save as different file formats, obviously, and name it. And we can also view old renders. So these are some of the renders I did before. Changing some few things. And yep, there's our image. So let's close all of these windows. Okay, so there are a few more things. One of them is options, which gives you the options for the rendering. You can change the aspect ratio, the resolution, um, file format, where it saves, the quality of the image, and stuff like that. And then the next one is schedule render, and this allows you to basically schedule a time later on in the day where it'll render the image for you. So you can change the time and the date, where it's going to save, and stuff like that. And then the last thing is recall last render, and this will basically just recall the last render that you did. It'll just bring it up for you, and you can take a look. And that wraps up my tutorial for PhotoView 360, so I hope you guys learned something, and thanks for watching.